we've had some discussion on this committee, a lot of, lot of debate actually on whether this conflict or conflict with the PRC is inevitable. U.S. Congressman Mike Waltz grills the Department of Defense at a recent House Armed Services Committee hearing. Karen Johnson reports. U.S. Congressman Mike Waltz recently questioned top U.S. military officials, including the commander of the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, Admiral John Aquilino, on the Department of Defense's policies, programs, and priorities in the Indo-Pacific region during a House Armed Services full committee hearing. Here's U.S. Congressman Mike Waltz with a major concern. One of the key takeaways I continue to take is the ambiguity amongst our allies from these trips, key allies. If we don't have use of their airspace, of their ports, of their basing, that I don't see how we effectively come to the aid of the defense of Taiwan. Congressman Waltz asking about clarity from the allies to the commander of the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, Admiral John Aquilino. What I hear when I talk to them frequently is that war is not desirable. You know, as that applies, what I read into it is they are supportive of our approach. Congressman Waltz represents Florida's 6th Congressional District, which includes Flagler and Volusia counties, as well as portions of Lake and St. John's County. Counties. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. A St. John's County man faces murder charges in the death of his wife last year. Deputies say David Armstrong's wife died in December. At the time, Armstrong told police a man brought his naked and badly beaten wife to the front yard of their rural home and threatened him with a gun. Armstrong also claimed his wife used drugs and was a prostitute. But an autopsy determined Armstrong's wife had been dead for several hours and that she died from blunt force trauma to injuries to her entire upper body. It also didn't find any drugs in her system. Armstrong was arrested in Georgia and is pending extradition to St. John's County. If you've been holding on to old paperwork, St. Augustine has an event this Friday where you can dispose of it. Olivia Smith, a manager with the city's Solid Waste and Sanitation Department, has more details. We're offering free document destruction to our city residents, up to five boxes per resident. Just need to take off the big clippies and things on there. Staples and paper clips are fine. I have a state-of-the-art on-site shredding truck that comes. It's equipped with a camera, so it's very popular. Folks like to actually park and watch their materials be shred, but we also have a drive through drop-off. You can also recycle old electronics like laptops, iPads, and tablets, digital cameras, printers, and more. We also do recycling of outdated and broken electronics, batteries and electronics. We do steer away from hazardous waste. No televisions, chemicals, light bulbs, tires, anything that's hazardous we do not accept. And then we also accept used cooking oil, so it needs to be vegetable, canola, peanut oil, things of that nature, no mortar oil, no hydraulic oil. The free event is happening Friday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Solid Waste Facility at 601 Riberia Street in St. Augustine. With St. Augustine's local morning news, I'm Amy Sherry. As part of our Earth Week series, Liz Ryan spoke to Ginger Baker from Keep St. John's County Beautiful about beach cleanup events. The Great American Cleanup is actually an initiative from Keep America Beautiful, which is the nationwide organization that is all about litter prevention, recycling, and beautification efforts. We are going out for Earth Day and doing part of the Great American Cleanup on April 20th, 21st, and 22nd. We're going to be at Michler's Beach, Volano Beach, and Crescent Beach. The Michler's event Thursday evening will feature guest speakers Bucket Bob and Elizabeth Joshi. The event at Volano Beach on Friday evening will feature special guest speaker Nicole Crosby. If you'd like to help out with the cleanup, they'll have the supplies ready for you. We will have buckets, grabbers, and gloves for all volunteers, as well as prizes and giveaways for those that collect the most or the strangest or weirdest debris. This is also your chance to meet Bebot, which is... A sand-sifting microplastic scrubbing robot that has been um, donated by Surfers Evolution Preservation Foundation. So if anybody wants to come out and... See BeatBot and see what can happen with, you know, technology and going out and picking up debris. That's definitely something that we encourage everybody to come out and see as well. Sign up at the Keep St. John's County Beautiful website, ksjcb.org. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.